Hi, my name's Wayne Smith, Principal of St Mary's College in Seymour. I'd like to invite you inside to tell you a story. The story in particular for our 2021 enrolments. So welcome. Come and join me. I'm standing in front of this beautiful convent, the Mercy Convent at our college at St Mary Seymour. Back in 1880, two lay teachers, Miss Renahan and Miss Burns, began Catholic education in Seymour at St Mary's. In 1900, five sisters then, Sisters of Mercy, came across to Mansfield to begin the journey of the Sisters of Mercy um, in St Mary's and as part of the Seymour community. In 1901, Sacred Heart College was formed and Sacred Heart College actually uh, began taking in primary and secondary students, along with St Mary's Primary. So in 1901 also, Archbishop Carr of Melbourne laid a foundation stone to build this beautiful convent. So in 1909 then we had borders. And in 1940 we had the St Mary's Primary and we also had Sacred Heart College, but by then all the primary students were a part of St Mary's School. So a rich history for Catholic education in this town. And finally in 1985, we then had both schools coming together to become St. Mary's College Seymour. So the unique history of this beautiful block and in this school, and particularly this convent, says much about our uh, school and where it's been and what we certainly hope to go for into the future. But whatever has been in the history of our college and where we are now and where we're going into the future, there's six words that really sum up St Mary's College and those words are the values of mercy, compassion, justice, respect, hospitality, service and courage. So those words are intrinsic to what we do at our college. Pope Francis, Pope Francis talks about don't run away from the future, run towards it. The vision of our college and the values will never change. We have an exciting future at our college we want to do many, many things. We've heard lots of talk about going from foundation back to year 12. We are reinvigorating our website. We're doing curriculum changes in secondary. And we certainly have a very strong e-learning direction than where we're going to go to. So there's a lot of exciting things happening. But there's another thing I want to show you. So come for another walk and uh, we'll go out there and show you something else that we're very excited about for St Mary's. I spoke about the past and the present, particularly when we're in front of the Mercy Convent. Now I've walked onto the parish car park. Well, on this site, we are going to talk about the future of St. Mary's because this year we will begin building the primary learning centre, a six classroom interactive learning space that's gonna provide a wonderful education for our younger students. This project will be ready to begin shortly and then our students will be coming into this facility in 2021. And so it's an exciting part of the growth for our college community. And we really look forward to our, our students and staff and parent community being able to work and live and, and experience what it's like in a 21st century classroom. We'd like to thank also our parish for uh, being very supportive of this car park um, opportunity and also particularly Father Eugene, who's been wonderfully supportive uh, of this opportunity for us to build the new building. And in also the state government, which provided a $1.4 million grant. So there's a lot happening in our college. This is a part of the future, but there's something else I wanna show you too. I wanna to take you over to an oval. An oval, I think, which has a very rich history. So come on, come with me. Hello everyone, I've moved now from what was, where's going to be the primary learning centre across to our St Mary's College Oval. Uh, I love my football. I've got blue blood and brown and gold skin for a number of reasons. But standing on this oval, I've heard so much about its history. And last year and early this year, our PNF had decided to bring Mercy the Oval back. They're going to do a long-term fundraising campaign to actually ensure that we bring this beautiful oval back to what it was. My dream is 
that our college oval can be used on weekends for cricket, for football, and to see it brought back to its former glory. And I know that we have a very passionate PNF that want to do that as part of our future. Also as part of our future, I stand on this oval and I look back at our college. We have a wonderful college board led by Andrew Graham. They are very, very keen to see our college move into the future as all our staff and our students are. So on this oval, there's been a lot of goals kicked, probably a lot of points as well. A lot of fours, a lot of sixes, a lot of running, a lot of playing, a lot of laughter. Well, what we want to do is bring this college oval back to its former glory. So that particularly during the week and on weekends, that our local community can enjoy St. Mary's College Oval. Now, we might go to St. Francis of Assisi Garden. Just over, a little bit over that way, we've got another story to tell you. I'm standing on this lovely pile of stones and sand here and behind me looks like there's a bit of activity going on. Looks like we're building a garden. Well, we are, in fact. St Mary's College has two houses. It has Macaulay House, named after, obviously, Catherine Macaulay, who started and founded the Mercy Sisters. We also have St Anthony of Padua House. St Anthony came from a little town in Italy called Padua. And St Anthony was a priest who then entered the priesthood to follow St Francis of Assisi. And St Francis began the Franciscan order around the world. St Francis of Assisi is well known for his belief and love of ecology and the earth. And we often hear that from our lovely Pope, Pope Francis. So what we intend to do here is create the Garden of Assisi so that our students, our parents, our grandparents, and those who have a love of gardening can help develop this beautiful site for community garden. That's our intention of where we want to go to in the future, to join the other things that we're going to do. And Mr. Allen, who's teaching 910 Ag Hort, uh, is doing a lot of work here. Because I also believe St Mary's being a regional, rural school, we have a great opportunity on all the spaces of land we have around here to really strengthen and develop Ag Hort courses for our students so that they can go off beyond our college to actually specialise in agriculture and all sorts of areas with animals and crops and so on. Our students are going to go into a very, very different world of employment than what perhaps we did. We want our students to be risk takers. We want them to be team players, to have inquiring minds. We know that the world into the future is going to have jobs that have not even been created. That's exciting. It's a challenge, but it's exciting. And we want our students to dream big, to know that they should never give up on their dreams and to never doubt what they're capable of. So, we are guiding our curriculum that way. We have particular programs in numeracy and literacy to support students. Particularly in secondary, we have widened the breadth of curriculum offerings that we're offering the senior students so that we enable them to encounter curriculum in a way that enables them to move forward and particularly understand the rigor that's required post-school life because we are all lifelong learners. And we know that if our students go off into the working world knowing that they are going to be a lifelong learner, then I think we've done our job. Well, there's lots of talk about F to 12 for St Mary's, and we know that in the past, people, community, parents, students want that. What we're intending to do is to set ourselves up into the future so that's a real possibility. We know that Seymour's going to grow. We know the growth corridor's coming out this way. There's a lot to happen, but if we, get everything right from our end, then that becomes a real possibility for our community. But I can say to you right now, as a principal, and someone who's been in Catholic education for many, many years, we have a very, very dedicated staff. We have a staff that believe totally in a holistic education. Because as I said before, if God's in your heart and God's in your mind, and we know that our students are looked after pastorally, then that is going to be such a benefit for their learning. There's a lot to happen in our college and we are, I think, doing a very, very good job. So look forward to a few things.
Our St Mary's College motto is protect and care for us. But what does that mean? Well, it means a holistic education. If you've got God in your heart and your mind, for us, that is the most important thing of all because it's going to set our students up for a wonderful future in their lives, in what they do in the world and how they can be people that change our planet and also influence the lives of other people. And if we can set that up for our students, then I think we've done our job. So thank you for being a part of us today and we look forward to seeing you.